Hello YouTube viewers, now in this video I'm going to be showing you how to transform Windows 7 to Windows 95 slash 98. Now, this is for people who like the, um, who really want to bring back memories of Windows 95 and 98. So in this video I'll show you how to transform it from Windows 7 to Windows 98 and 95. Well, 95 slash ME. No, 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 no. Um, 95 slash 98. So, yeah, let's get started. So, on Windows XP and Vista, this is actually quite easy, but in Windows 7, it's a little bit different. Um, so, this is how to do in Windows 7. What you're going to want to do is right click on your desktop and then go down to personalize. Just wait for it to load up here. Some programs open up slow because of my screen recorder. It does that all the time, weirdly. Oh, and by the way, um, just before we get uh, onto other stuff, um, if you've got Rocket Dock running, uh, close it because we're, we won't be needing it. Because of course, otherwise it won't. It'll give you the. It will not give you the full look. So you know, with that without running so yeah anyway so after personalization is um, up and running go down and then click on windows classic you'll get this please wait sign here and there it is so now what you're going to want to do to get the uh, background and also the um, font uh, in for win you know the little Windows 95 slash 98 font sans serif or whatever that's called. Click on window color and then click on the checkbox and then click on active title bar. Now, if you're transforming this to Windows 95, you're going to want to use the same colour as colour 1, and then you get this. However, if it's Windows 98, use the uh, default for colour 2. Anyways, uh, go down here to font and click on the checkbox, and you're going to want to find MS Sans Serif, which is this one here. Click on it. And then you'll get that nice old font in Windows uh, 95 and 98. So now that's all dealt with, what you're going to want to do is click on this checkbox, click on desktop, click on colour 1, well, this is a, well the only colour here, and click on this colour. Where my uh, cursor is pointing at, you're going to want to click on this colour, because that is the wallpaper. A nice old wallpaper for Windows 95 and 98. Then you want to click on apply. And there you go. So I click on OK. And then you're going to want to click on change desktop icons. And you're going to want to make all of these classic icons. So I click on Oh, and um, also make sure make sure you check all of these because that is uh, all what because then you can get that little authentic Windows 95 slash 98 look. Click on computer and then click on change icon. And then where it says look for icons in this file in this little box here, you're gonna want to type in shell. 32 dot dll and then press enter and then you'll get a whole load of uh, what I call leftover icons from previous uh, Windows versions like classics ones and all that now I can't find an actual Windows 
computer icon from Windows 95 and 98 in this file, so I recommend you use this one because it looks a bit similar. Click on OK, and now you've got your first icon done. For your user icon, click on Change Icon, search for the file yet again, and then click on if I can find it here. There we go. Click on this one. For network, click on change icon, search for the file. And then click on this one. For the recycle bin full, click on change icon. Search for the file. And then you're going to want to click on this one right here. And that's and uh, for the recycling bin empty, your very last one. Click on change icon. Type in shell 32. Search for the file yet again. Then search for the icon to get to about here. Click on the empty icon and then click on OK. And then click on apply. And now, all except control panel, you'll have um, classic Windows 95 slash 98 um, icons. So there you go. So you are one a few steps near to having your desktop look like Windows 95 and 98. So, so what you're going to want to do is click on minus. But it'll, no, um, not minus. Um, minimize. Click on the minimize button. And then you're going to want to make your icon smaller. So right click on your desktop yet again. Click on view. And then click on small icons. So now you have small icons. And now there's a f one few more little things that we need to do. Well, one more little thing that we need to do. Right click on your taskbar and click on properties. Then click on use small icons. Check that box. Now where it says taskbar buttons, um, click on that check checkbox button. Then click on never combine. And then click on apply. And there you go. And if you have stuff pinned to the taskbar, unpin it. And that is about it. That is all. Now, unfortunately, Microsoft removed the um, classic start menu in uh, Windows 7. But um, you can get an add on for Windows, um, just search in Google classic start menu for Windows 7 and you'll find uh, some program there. And also you can add a Windows 95 or 98 start up sound and shutdown sound if you really want to, to get that look. Or you can go all wild and transform all of your system files to make it look like Windows 98 if you want to. I don't recommend it but uh, you could if you want it to. But that is all. And uh, if you really like this theme, go into Personalize, click on Save Theme, and then save it as Windows 98. And there you go. So that is all. Thank you very much for um, watching. See you later and bye bye.